channel my name is Vivian and if you're just joining for the first time you're welcome please don't forget to subscribe before you leave today I'm with an energy economist um he's a banker <laughs> <laughs> the president of Sweet Boy Association, North Cyprus region. I don't know who dashed in, but that way he calls himself Mr. Ayodeji Samson. How are you? Introduce yourself, let um, us know you. I am Ayodeji Samson, um, an energy economist, um, a political oriented person. It's very good to be, to be here today, Ms. Vivian. Oh, thank you. Um, I know you're very passionate about Nigeria, you're a patriotic citizen, according yes. to what I've gathered so far. Yeah. You are so interested in Nigerian politics and um, the change that is about to happen in Nigeria. And there everything. is no change. Right now, we don't have any change in Nigeria. I okay, mean, but like you, you are about you are about the future of Nigeria and yes, seeing yes, yes. progress I'm, in Nigeria. I'm passionate about that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, you know, everybody has been shouting and talking about PVC, 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 get your PVC, yeah, PVC is the uh, <coughs> go to voting or something like yeah, that, they've been shouting yeah, about yeah, it on the social that's, media. That's so have you gotten your PVC? Well, as I do not reside in Nigeria currently, I do not have my PVC, but um, all my friends back home um, actually ensure that they, they, they got their, their, PVC. Yeah, they got their PVC. So um, with the PVC thing, do you think Nigerian youth or Nigerians generally are going to come out to vote for the person they want to vote Yes, control. yes, this election they're going to come out. Because, at, like, you know how everybody's talk about, oh, they're coming out to vote, but because of dogs and everything. No, and this, this election will be different because we have two titans, Buhari and Atiku Rani. And obviously, Buhari is not going to win this election, he's going to lose. <coughs> how sure are you that Buhari is going to lose I'm the election? I'm not sure unless APC government are going to rig the election. So, do you think other people will not rig the, rig the election? Like PDP, PDP, you? PDP cannot rig the election. Mm. You said that you, you feel that um, Buhari is not going to win the election yes, unless they, like, they rig the election. Yes, yes, yes. So, um, you know, uh, being. Mm. I mean, the job of a president, I mean, yeah, the job of a president yeah, is, um, yeah. is very hard and it requires like somebody very strong and um, very understanding to be a president of Nigeria. Yeah, so right. with the presidential candidate that um, that came up and everything with their manifestos, I, I'm very sure you have listened to their manifestos yeah, oh, yeah, and you have, yeah. gone, you have checked their interviews and everything. Mm -hmm. So what do you think is the most qualified person to be the president of Nigeria? The most competent um, candidate for me is uh, Atiku. Atiku Abubakar. You, 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 sorry, you said that you feel Atiku is the. Atiku is Atiku is very good. Um, I want Atiku to become the president. In fact, why are you, why do you want to choose <coughs> Atiku? Is it because you feel like okay, between APC and PDP, I no, want to choose no, the lesser evil no, or what? No, no, no. In fact, what do you mean by lesser evil? Uh, because you know, like everybody's thinking, oh, okay, APC and PDP, they're not seeing the other people. So they feel like, okay, since a um, <laughs> APC has been there and they're not doing anything, so let us choose somebody again. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, let me start by saying something. that our focus right now shouldn't be on lesser evil or bigger evil or smaller evil or anything. Buari <coughs> is actually not competent, Buari is a failure. Example 86.9 million Nigerians. Are actually living in extreme poverty right now. The unemployment rate in Nigeria currently is 23.1%. Sorry, where are you getting these statistics from? It's online. Go to Nigeria Bureau of Statistics. You can get it. Okay. Now, uh, relative to uh, the 16 years of uh, PDP administration, Buhari has done worse. But people were accomplished. A lot of people said that uh, the PDP spelled the thing and Barry is trying to make change and, um, you know, if, to make, if, they're, they're like, if, to make change is not... If there are no challenges, then Barry shouldn't contest as a president. Yeah, it's you know, coming to solve the problem. Mm -hmm. So you feel Barry's admission is bad? Barry shouldn't be in the race. Okay. To me. So we should uh, focus on Kingsley, Professor Kingsley, YPP, Shore, AAC and uh, but you are more of Atiku than <coughs> well, Shore. You know, people, to are, me, people are telling, people are saying Shore. Oh, Shore is an activist okay. to me. I don't believe in. Ah, well, let me not say I don't believe in Shore, but I don't think he has uh, the political experience that that are required to govern a country that is as so complex as Nigeria. What 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 do you think um, a president <coughs> should have to be able to for be a president of Nigeria? For example, you have to have uh, what's called the political understanding. You so you think Shore does not know? He is not in the system. What about Kingsley? Yeah, Kingsley is very, very good. 
But so I, would consider, I think at the time Fela Durotoye and Donald Duke were part of the system before. Fela Durotoye is now together with Kingsley. Okay. And Donald Duke is not in the race. He's not in the race again. So um, <clears throat> we should focus on um, what each candidate would offer Nigeria. Now, look no, at, sure. okay, sure. looking at um, Atiku. Atiku used to be the uh, former chair chairman of Nigeria National Executive Council. Is the Economic Council rather? Under his watch, we have um, a stable GDP. Okay. Our GDP was very stable, which was increasing at six percent every year, which was actually the highest for Nigeria. And he said something. He said that by twenty twenty five, if he becomes the president. We have GDP of around nine hundred million million dollars, which is very possible, based on what he has said. Although Article is not a saint, yes, and all politicians are actually corrupt, all of them, including Shoure, although he's not there. So, so you're going to say all politicians? All politicians are corrupt. Mr. Sampson said all politicians are corrupt. Yes, Do you agree with that? All politicians are corrupt. Once you determine that you want to join politics. You should be know that your hands will be dirty because politics is a dirty game. Okay. Yes. So because <clears throat> politics in politics is a dirty game, so everybody that is supposed to play the game is supposed to be dirty. I'm not saying you will be dirty. Example, you said um, if um, you you want to play the game, must you get dirty? Let's see what is happening in the United States currently. Well, <laughs> Let's see what is happening in the United States currently. President Trump. Um, there's this allegation against him that the election was rigged, right? Mm -hmm. That's United States. Now, Obama, like, is Obama a saint? No, definitely not. No. So, like, <clears throat> once you are involved in politics, obviously you will do some dirty things. Obviously. There's no how you can run away from that. So, politicians are corrupt. All Nigerian politicians, all of them, they are corrupt. Okay. Um, so... With what you have said now, yeah, you feel <laughs> Buhari is the uh, sorry, um, Atiku is the right candidate Atiku to or Kingsley because they all not say anything about the, Kingsley. Atiku and Kingsley. Okay, let me just let me just give my verdict on the on the candidates. Now, show Ray out because you don't like show Ray. I think he's an activist. Really, I don't like. I've listened to him and he said a lot of things. Like, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Yes, a lot of people has like approached. But you know, <laughs> like I, I watched um like interviews about and people on the street okay, talking about sure. presidential no okay. talking about presidential candidate and everything most of nigerians apart from people on social media or about yeah most of i think the other younger um candidates yeah. they are just they're just popular on social, social media, media because yeah. when i check the streets and um they are more of article right? they are more of either buari or article and the other person that they're actually concerned about that they actually know sure. is Shore. now so, Shore is very is an activist as i said and this guy talks too much. That's actually but I what think I people think. need someone that can talk for them. You know about talking. It's about your policy. It's about your plan. What you are willing to offer Nigeria. For example, he said he's going to uh, increase the minimum wage to 100,000 naira per month or something like that. How is he going to do that? Okay, he said he has his plan. What is the economic policy or the economic impact of what you want to do? Okay. So we don't we don't need people that will just come and just promise us, okay, we want to do this, we're going to do this. No, we need people that want to work. Who you know if they, if they want to work, if you're not giving them the chance to For example, to check, check that, listen to their manifestos. I actually listen, listen to most of them and what I notice is that most of them, um, their manifesto is about bashing Buari of how it did not do well. That's but they're not actually if you, saying if you listen to article, their own decision. If you listen to article. Atiku never said anything like if you listen to because you, they are the same. No, Atiku and PDP are the same. Atiku is Atiku and Bori are not the same. But for APC example, check check the success of Atiku in from 2007, from 2003, see from 1999 to 2003. Mm -hmm. Check it. Check what he did for Nigeria. But most of the money in is in his pocket. No. So. Okay. Yes. Well, that's an allegation. You can't prove it. But that what I've been hearing. And yeah, what but I, you know, you know, one thing about Nigeria is that we are so um, biased or quick to say something without concrete evidence. How can you prove that Atiku is corrupt? Yes, a lot of people do say Atiku is corrupt. Okay, take him to court if you have the evidence. 
But even um, Obasan just said that uh, he, he laid some allegation on um, but Obasan, article. But then, do you actually know that Obasan just has endorsed that article now? But when they asked um, article question on that, when that lady asked article question, do you, uh, everything which lady? about which lady? The lady that interviewed him and them um, on NC Academy yeah, or something. Yeah. Okay. So she was like, um, all the allegations that um, Obasan just said about you that. Was it true? He could not answer. He did not say it was true. He just said that uh, if um, somebody has, so, somebody did not choose you before investing in you now, something like that. He dodged the question. Means they, he's actually corrupt. No. Or what's everything. your what's your definition of corruption? But um, article's definition of corruption <laughs> said that it's going to enrich his family and his friend. Okay, let me ask you this question: If you become the president of Nigeria tomorrow, mm -hmm. your family will benefit from it. Yes or no? Yes. So what are you saying? Are you corrupt? No, but they're going to benefit on it on some standard. Okay, like if I have probably money, that's no. what Atiku is saying. But if I have money, yeah, eh, yeah, I'm from being a president or something. Yeah, I'm your family will benefit from it, right? Yeah, but legally, oh. not that. Okay, when I'll just start that shit with money okay. or something. Atiku, like, uh, did he say anything that is going to enrich his family illegally? But we all know that. We know what. <laughs> but we all <laughs> we all know that okay. Atiku and Buhari. Atiku. And Atiku is totally different from Buhari. Forget that. For example, Atiku will work. He wants to work for Nigeria. How will a 72 years old person be, very, be willing to be active to work for Nigeria oh. at this age? This is 2019, where everybody shouts, Oh, we want young people, we want. Which, like now. The, look, okay, for example, listen, the, the, outside, gov no, the governor listen. of Kogi State is actually the youngest. Uh, uh, governor. That had the that is Good. So, stupid. okay, what, what has he done? The governor of Kogi State. Okay. So, what have the old people done? So, they've not Good. done anything. Atiku has done something for Nigeria. For example, do you actually know that when Atiku was the chairman of the um, uh, Executive Economic Council, mm -hmm. he paid off all, all our foreign debts? Do you know? With which money? Nigerians' money. He was able to use the money wisely. Now your vice president, what's that? What has he done? Our vice president has done something. What? Like now when Buhari was not around, <laughs> he, he he signed. He did what? He, no, he did a lot of things. Okay. Now, you know they signed. Um, Naira was five hundred and something. What was the economy? Okay. What was the economic impact? When when Atuku was there, Naira was I think they left it when. No, you know you know. Okay. It was it more became worse. Fine, we know. It became, but, no, the no, price after Atiku, you're just yeah. saying Atiku, Atiku. After Atiku, there was. After Obasu joined this thing, there was Yadwa, there was good luck Yadua for did uh, very well. Yadwa did very well, yes. Good luck did well, economically. But what has Buhari done? Me, I'm not, I'm not Buhari, I'm not anybody. I'm just saying that... I'm just, I'm trying, just, to tell you that, I'm just trying to tell you that, okay, I think the best candidate for us right now is Atiku. Okay, so, um, Atiku... That is um, Mr. Samson's um, yeah. president. You know, um, a lot of people were say Baba, say Baba, say Baba. The fact is they are ignorant. No, no, I mean at that time, okay, 2000 okay, and uh, okay, whatever. Okay, okay. Um, now, I think no, we made a mistake uh, voting for Buhari. No, what I'm saying is that like, now, the other people were saying, oh, Buhari is going to make the change because of ABC. Because actually, and so about then, then and we were being sentimental. So, why do you think you're not sentimental now? Because check their policy. Like, for example, it. Barry said in 2014 that he's going to equate one naira to one dollar. Mm -hmm. Has he done that? You know, it's not possible to equate one naira to then one dollar. Then why, why did we vote for Barry? I did not vote for Barry. <laughs> yeah, but we did. Then we did. We voted for Barry. And it's actually because we were not so, calm enough to uh, evaluate his policy very well. But right now, we are scrutinizing the dates. We will check their manifesto. Okay, which one is feasible? And we vote for each candidate based on their manifesto. Great, it's it's actually nice. But now because the conversation is starting to look like um um Buhari versus Atiku, Atiku. which I think a lot of Nigerians actually do. Like, yeah, the, the, other the, the battle is actually between Buhari. So and do you think that um the third if, force? I mean the other younger generation. They're not actually young because they're like 46, 40, yeah, yeah. something even 50 something. Yeah. So do, but do you think? Um, assuming there was a coalition between all of them that they would have been, they would have a higher chance of winning compared for, to now. For example, during the APC National Convention, they said they have close to 14.8 million votes already. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't think the young party can even get up to that. Uh, yeah, no, I'm saying that assuming there was even like all of the them, all of them together, I don't think they can pull up to 40 million votes. From start? Yeah, I don't think so. 
Hmm. Right now, I don't think so. Okay. Do you think it was too late for them to come up yes, together yes, to say they said since you have been articulated and everything, all of our conversation has been about article, 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 okay, article. Okay. So like when let's just assume that article wins the um, election. He's gonna win. Uh, is let's not assume he's gonna be okay. he's our next president. Article our next president. Yeah. And he did not fulfill everything he said he was going to do. How do you think? The beauty of democracy is that you can vote for another person in, in the next election. So you endorsing <laughs> Article right now? We endorse Jonathan too. You endorse, we endorse Buhari. Okay. So like you know how we did um there was a time I think January there was like a ten years challenge yeah. and everything. People didn't throw bad pictures about them, about themselves and some people actually Took it back to like Nigeria and economy and everything. Mm -hmm. So they did 10 years and that was 2009. And they're like, <laughs> in 2019, Nigeria yeah. became worse. Yeah. So let's say 2029. Yeah. Now we'll do 10 with, years. Uh, with article. With um, article. Without, I'm not with talking article, about article. With, with article. In 2029, by God's grace, we'll be great. No, but because you know, Nigeria 20, will walk You know, in 2029, there yeah. will be like two presidents. Yes, yes article, article. It's gonna, it's gonna do very well in his first time, and he'll go for second time. So article, article. So if article did not do well, do he's going, everything he's going to do well. So what you're trying to tell me now is 2029, Nigeria is going to be better. Yes. Is it going to go back to the way it was in 2009? More than that. You think Nigeria is going to more than that be because more than based on what article said, by 2025 our GDP is expected to be around 900 million dollars. That's number one. No, but you said that. That's you, number you one. You said that um, was me. All Nigerian president or um, all Nigerian politicians are corrupt. It's going to work. Yes, I will show you that. Article will work. work. He has his plan. Why do I feel this man has been paid by PDP? <laughs> to come and do After, no, no, no. I'm, I'm not paid by PDP. For example, he said he's going to like provide 50 million jobs for Nigeria within the next four years. So he's going to do it. He has his no, plan. but sometimes you don't need to become a president able to do all these things. You can work on the ground. Yeah, he did something. something. So, Actually, he created 50,000 jobs for Nigerians. But most of his job, according to even the Intel, the this thing he did, the cargo, everything, most of them, they're, they're, the not, they're not paying tax Where is, in the, where is the proof, because people, Where according is to, the proof? But listen, according to what I read online. What you read? If this thing is true, they will take him to court. You know all this, Baba Saleh, Baba... Which one is... Ba Bless, we are, we are learned people. Take him to court if he's not paying tax. No, but um, <laughs> clearly we can see that uh, our guest mm. is actually articulated and everything he wants to talk about is article. And I'm not a big fan of that. Mm -hmm. I, because I feel, I don't, I'm not. You the, feel we should vote for I'm not, Shore, I'm not saying we should vote. I'm not saying we should vote for Shore. I'm not saying that okay. uh, we should have given like the younger generation more chance. I know they came out very late or they did not join the together and the, 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 but they may not win. Okay. Do you understand? Okay. They may not win. Okay. But like they're actually not going to win. They're not going to win. Um maybe twenty twenty three. Yeah. Mr Samson wants to go for maybe presidential um this thing for the country or maybe like governorship election and people start saying oh because you are young and you're just coming and everything you will not win well, how do you think well, you're i have to, to prove it to them that okay you're like so why are you not giving that opportunity to prove to them that you're not going to win let's check their manifestos if i'm convinced by their manifestos yes i will vote for them so what do you not like about showery uh, showery is an activist mm -hmm. it doesn't have any political background he will claim that okay, probably he uh, in 1999 he fought for um, the democracy of Nigeria or something. Yeah, that's activism. I don't believe in that. It's actually different from politics. Now, Atiku has 40 years. My not Atiku. I want about um, Kingsley. Yeah, Kingsley, Kingsley is good too. Yes, I, I can vote but for Kingsley. But Kingsley is an economist just like you are. Yeah. So um, you think but he does why, not have the idea of why, Nigeria why, or he why does not PP, want the... Why PP cannot win this election? The party is still very young. That's why I'm not, that's voting. Why, that's why I'm not voting for Kingsley. Because the party is young. It's still very young. Okay. The okay. party cannot defeat APC. Now we need to remove President Mamadou Buhari. So now, what you're trying to tell me is that you're going to you're removing Buhari, you're putting Atiku because I'm you put, have no option. I'm, I'm put, no, 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 no. I'm listen. putting Atiku because Atiku will do better than Buhari. That's why I'm so listen. Atiku. Let's say let's assume that um, there was like you know how we have Labour Party before, like a known um, politician okay. contesting for the post of the president okay. in Labour Party. Okay. Would, um, would, you, would you choose the person 
instead of working. I will choose the person that will work for Nigeria. And right now, the person that will work for Nigeria is at Tipu. No, let's see. Let's wait. February 16 is around the corner. <laughs> we'll see if uh, Mr. Samson's um, president is going to win. You know, the, the beauty of this is um, Jonathan actually didn't do very well. But, but he, was he did better than Buhari. I'm, now, not, I'm, not, I'm not a Buhari. The way you are saying it sounds like Buhari. I'm a Buhari fan. Yeah. I'm not now, anybody. And that means thing. actually you are actually against Buhari. You know, you know Buhari hasn't done anything for Nigeria. I feel, I, I know Buhari did not try. But when I say not he has not try, done anything. Not try. For example, he shouldn't be dead. Okay, I'm not a Buhari fan. I'm not um, Articles fan. I'm not Showers fan. I'm just a normal Nigerian. I want the best <laughs> for Nigeria. The best for Nigeria right now is Articles. Mr. PDP, please can you share? <laughs> Sorry. This is not the way I wanted this conversation to go. I thought it was going to be more meaningful, but it is. No, but looking um, at it, like looking listen. at it is like um, PDP has paid you to come no, and just no, actually. So I'm actually I know that with PDP, like the change we are all expecting, PDP will bring it. My PC is the one that has changed. No, PDP is actually going to sweep away their, their failures. Everything they've done, PDP, PDP with, with the which uh, which um party has the broom thing? APC. I think they will call it the broom from them. <laughs> <laughs> this time around, they will call it the broom from them. They will call it the broom from them. <laughs> sweep them um, there's somebody I think, I think I will bring her next to the show. <laughs> yes, because she she is more of the younger generation. She wants the younger generation to actually win and let us see what they can do and I, I thought you're going to be something someone like that too because you are young and I feel come like in the coming I'm not, years I'm not, I'm you... not age biased if a uh, if uh, if a baby is gonna work for Nigeria then let the baby become the president if it's gonna work no, but, if a 90 year old man looking, is gonna work looking for Nigeria it. we should vote for looking at we should it. vote for for the man looking at it right now do yeah. you think somebody that is 90 years old is, that is going to do if something? the person is going to work no forget forget let's see 72 years old practically looking at it what like what does he know nigeria is actually how old is how old is listen, donald trump listen, how old is donald out, trump no, how old is you donald cannot trump? compare usa to what's in nigeria we are we're actually looking at nigeria that we become like united states in years from now in years from now yeah. you had they built the standard okay which they are following okay. in nigeria we used to just jump class my husband was saying that we used to just jump class so okay. like we, we are looking at other people's country to okay. see how they are doing how their president is older and everything but we are not looking at our own country, our own situation. Okay, so you, so you actually think technologically, okay, Nigeria okay. is backwards. Okay, but we are already doing digital marketing and everything. And Atuku is going to fix that. No, listen, we are doing digital marketing that. and everything. Okay, so but like, do you think it's going to stand? No, but we don't have pres a president that focuses on what Atuku is exposed. How exposed do you think Atuku, Atuku is, is exposed? Compared to people people okay. that are young and vibrant that can walk and travel how, how, around. How exposed is Donald Trump? Okay. So, um, do you have any questions for me? I don't know. For you? Yes. I will, uh, not a question right now, but a suggestion. Okay. And I will, I will advise you to, uh, I will advise you and also your followers to listen to article. Check. Uh, my followers and uh, my fans and my check, subscribers or check. anybody that's watching this video for the first time, <laughs> don't listen to only article. My own is for you, you to know listen, listen to everybody to, listen and to, go listen, outside and Listen go. to article very well. Listen to Kingsley. Mm hmm Exclude Bari. Bari is a failure. He's not going to do anything for Nigeria. It's of no benefit to Nigeria. So what, 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 wait, listen. Exclude. What if um, Buhari wins this election? What you don't have a choice. Then you don't have a choice. What then do you think uh, it can do better? Poverty, what? poverty continues for Nigeria. No, but what do you think it can do better? It cannot do anything better. Poverty continues for Nigeria. It cannot do anything. President Buhari, somebody has given up on you, and this is not what we expect so, from a citizen of your country. So, so listen, give up to, the listen to Buhari, uh, listen to Atiku, never listen to Buhari, listen to Professor Kingsley, and consider, not, should not consider Shawari. Shawari as well. Okay. And make your um, decision. Decision. So please, youth. Um, um, Pepe Sola, everybody that's watching, just tell somebody, tell somebody, tell somebody, get your PVC, vote for the right candidate, listen to their manifesto, and um, decide. And just know that your votes count, they're not rigging the election, don't mind him saying if it's going to be. No, if I want to vote for somebody, look, looking at 
how Nigeria is now, I would have loved to vote for what's name Kingsley because I just like him and I've listened to him. He's very calm and articulated, yes, very <laughs> not article. <laughs> he's, he's very yeah. intelligent. And, um, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. You mean articulated? <laughs> She is articulated. I will slap you. you mean articulated? I will slap this boy. She's for Atiku. I'm not Atiku. I'm not endorsing anybody on this channel. Vote for who you want to vote for. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, um, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video.